You are listening to The Darker Sides of Life, a podcast by Hexakemi. Hi, and welcome to The Darker Sides of Life. I'm your host, Camilla, but you may also know me from my Instagram handle. It's Hexakemi. I'll be doing this podcast series, making episodes revolving around the various themes I touch on my Instagram. I mainly do secondhand fashion on my page, but I am also very often talking about the things that matter to me, which include more personal stuff, such as dealing with grief, loss, death and mental health, hence the name of this podcast. If you don't know me, I am 29 years old. I have a master's degree in intellectual history and I'm specialised in feminist studies of the Hebrew Bible. I'm Danish and I live in Denmark with my husband, who's a musician. When I'm not doing this podcast, I work with digital communication as a consultant for various institutions, but I also sometimes give lectures on feminist studies and history in general. I want to share a bit about my upbringing because it is one of the main reasons I'm able to even do this podcast. I grew up in a family of four with my parents, myself and my 10-year older sister. My father was a pilot and thus very rarely home. And so until the age of seven, it was mainly just me, my mum and my sister. Unfortunately, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and died seven months later when I had just turned eight and this left me with a father who now had to deal with his children, which he didn't want to do. You see, my father is an narcissist and a clinical psychopath and I have throughout my childhood been very afraid of him. So when my mother died, I stepped into a very long and hellish nightmare of living with a man who would over the next 10 years raise me in fear of my life on an everyday basis. My sister ran away from home and moved out of the country, and since I was so young and my dad had no real interest in changing his job, I was then pseudo-raised by my father's parents, my grandma and my grandpa. Especially my grandma and I soon realised we were soulmates, and I have had some of the best and worst years of my life simultaneously growing up because I had her on the one hand and my father on the other. My grandma was born in 1923, and died in 2016. When she died, it was like losing my whole foundation. I have since then cut off all contact with both my sister and my father, and have spent years in therapy to heal myself from all the trauma and abuse I suffered in my formative years. Whenever I tell this story, people usually react with shock and disbelief, because how could this happen? Why am I able to be all the things I am with this effed up background? What also happens is that they are either so stunned that they don't know how to react or, and this is perhaps even worse to me, they don't believe me. This reaction, whatever it is, is another big reason I even want to do this podcast because I think those reactions are so very typical in the sense that sharing such dark sides about oneself is filled with so much taboo that people as a whole try to deny it can or had happened. So why am I not completely messed up? My therapist has many times told me it would have been a perfectly reasonable reaction to not be as functional as I am. And I think one of the answers to that lies in the way my grandma raised me. She was the first female icon I had, and she was a strong and independent woman who showed me that there's always a way to overcome things in life. One just has to keep going, even when it hurts. So after she died, that is exactly what I did. And that leads me right here, right now, with this podcast. I have felt a need to share some of these darker stories about my life on my Instagram page over the last year because A, I think social media works best when it is wrapped up in honesty and B, I want to help get rid of the taboo that is surrounded by the dark sides of life such as mourning, death, abuse and mental health. It has truly surprised me that by doing so, I have had people from all over the world reach out to me, sharing their very personal stories with me and seeking someone to talk to, seeking advice or just a stranger's ear to vent to. And that made me think that I wanted to do more than what I can on my Instagram that is mainly focused on secondhand fashion. So now, here we are. I hope that this podcast can work as a two-way street. I will talk about issues and things that I have experienced work or don't work when dealing with grief and death. 
I'm going to share advice people have given me and also share advice on things I have discovered help me. Now, I want to emphasize that I am not a therapist. I am not a psychologist, nor am I a doctor. If you are struggling with your mental health, please seek help from a professional. What I can do here is not therapy. It is merely words about the darker sides of life from one human to another. If you enjoy this podcast, I truly appreciate it if you would take a moment to share it with your friends and leave a review and rating on iTunes. It truly helps me reach more people and the only thing I want is to reach those who need someone to tell them that they are not alone in the darker sides of life. I've also set up a Ko-fi, so if you want to donate a few dollars to the podcast, there's a link for it in the description to this episode. Also, if you have any wishes as to what a future podcast episode could be about, then please let me know. You can reach me on my Instagram, which is at hexacami. Just send me a DM, so I'm sure to see it, or you can send me an email. The email address will be in the description box. Thank you in advance. I hope you'll chime in for my next episode. Until then, take care. You've been listening to The Darker Sides of Life, a podcast by Hexacami.